What is happening, guys? Welcome to the Eric Meal Time Show. Today I am at a meat shop and they have got a vending machine right here. 24 hours, 365 days a year. There's some meat. It's like a plate lunch, it looks like, huh? Comes with some veggies. Let's see what's available here. Those are available. It's got some other types of bentos, which are, these are sold out, unfortunately. This is the yakitori bento. Yeah, those look delicious. Oh, well. And then they've got some mystery ones here. So, mystery yakitori. You try a couple of these. And then here's some kind of mystery meat. You get five pieces of something. So, let's... Let's give it a shot. Okay, so it seems like the machine doesn't have any change in it, so now I'm loaded up with change. Hopefully it's gonna work. All right, let's do this. Number two. We're in business. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's a chicken bento. That's pretty good size. Wow, surfs too. That's a lot of food right there. A lot of rice in there. Okay. Good, good, good. And so it's all chicken, all this, right? Yakitori, and then they've got bits of chicken. Let's do the yakitori. There's uh, one with sauce and one with salt. It's one of each. That's number eight. Okay. Yeah, Kitori coming down. Should be on the stick. Oh, it's a variety pack. Nice. I'm liking that. Okay, so that's the tare. Let's also get the salt one. Number 11. Location reveal. We're in Yokohama. Yokohama, Japan. Port city. Okay different ones yet yeah looks like yeah, it looks like different types uh -huh. great all different and then we'll try this one the five pieces of meat mixed meat number nine Big thump. It's more than five pieces. It looks like so. Oh, it's a chicken wing there. It looks, is it? It's kind of hard to tell. All right, that's a lot of chicken. All right, she's refilling it. Nice. We're gonna get some. All right, she just handed it to me, but I got it. There it is. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. All right, I'm at the Kanagawa newspaper shop right here. Yep. They're closed for business, but they got a vending machine, a classic vending machine outside here. Serves five or six different types of, this. I mean, this thing is, let's see, this is the last year right here, since 1963, probably when the machine was built. Does it work? Let's see, which one should we get? Let's get a sports newspaper. These are the ones. These are the ones I like. Look at that! It just spits it out to you. Oh yeah! Look at that! Great shot! Great cover shot! Don't forget the change. Oh yeah! Looky here! I don't see a vending machine. Need something for dessert, huh? This is great snacks. Chocolates, ooh, truffles, ooh, a Danish, chocolate Danish pastry. Number 47 right there, it looks good. For 200, okay. looking good. Chocolate bar, Danish pastry. And what else? Apple pie. Every burger, we always get those. We get some chocolate. Let's get the chocolate brownie. 13. 
There's two of them though. Rich milk chocolate and what's the other one? Let's get the rich milk, rich milk chocolate, chocolate brownie, huh? 13 for 120. Okay. Those trains are only like two minutes apart. Okay, that looks good. Oh, look at this. A rare machine that sells umbrella and says umbrella shop. Casa. That's pretty cool. Umbrellas for is about under $5. It's not bad. Yeah. Fancy one there for 1600 yen. It's got about 12 bucks. Yeah, it's not raining today, so don't need an umbrella, but here's another snack machine. It's got tequila paquila snacks. Oh, I haven't seen these in a while. Brought to you by the Poochie Mall Company. So let's do it, huh? 150, number three. Oh yeah. Good. Fancy, fancy. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're set. We're extra set. Let's do this. And I am back today. I'm being joined by Mega Brand Six Hundred. And what's you reading, Mega? The sports news. What's going on in sports news today in Japan? This guy pitches so fast, he loses his hat. <laughs> That's a great shot. So, let's start out with a cheers, a kanpai. We've got something different today. What's it called? It's called takohai. Takohai. There's been a lot of commercials on TV about this recently, so it's some kind of mixed cocktail, right? They were cheap, about 140 yen, it's a little less than a dollar. So, let's give them a try, shall we? Okay. Doesn't smell like anything. Taco High. From the Chu High family, I assume. Okay, cheers. Cheers. It's mellow. I like it, not too sweet. I like a very mellow lemon cocktail. Yeah, it's a little bit fruity. Yeah, yeah. but pretty dry. Nice, yeah, I like it. It's good, and the price is right. All right, so today we've got a pretty special one because everything is pretty much chicken, right? Yakitori is different types of chicken. This is gonna be interesting. And we've got some desserts from a vending machine. And we've got a different chef salad today. Today's chef salad is also a taco salad. Same pronunciation as the drink, but taco as in the Mexican style taco salad. So, incoming. <laughs> you know the way they eat taco salad, right? You mix have to mix it all up, right? Yes. And you don't like tomatoes, right? No. So I'll try not to throw too many tomatoes in. So we've got some Doritos on top, Japanese Doritos, I assume, which are a little bit different than American Doritos. We gotta make sure we don't get too filled up though, because we got a lot of chicken tonight. Tonight's meal is definitely chicken heavy. Like every other entree we have has got chicken. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Taco salad. Mm. Tastes like back in America. Oh, great. We haven't done like a taco night in a long time. This is great. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to do this more often. Mmm. <laughs> that is delish. That ground beef is really nice too. Mm-hmm. Lots of guacamole. Mm-hmm. 
The tomatoes may give it a juiciness. And there's cheese in here. Tasting the cheese? What do you like the best? The cheese? No cheese. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's like you're eating tacos. It is. It's not like eating a salad. It's like eating a tacos without the shell. Well, the shells are the Doritos. Yeah. That's excellent. Chef is stepping it up. Okay, so let's get into this chicken. All this has been heated up. It's ready to go. Where do you want to start? The yakitori. The yakitori, yeah, that came out first. So we've got two types of yakitori, the sauce and the shio, it's called, or salt. I recommend if it's your first time coming to Japan, try the sauce, the tare, it's called. Yeah? Yeah. Should we do that first? Okay. Maybe we should do salt first. The tare is usually a bit stronger. So yeah. Salt first. A little more basic, pure, if you really want to taste the chicken. Um, okay. <laughs> So this one's called, tell them what it's called. It's called skune. Skune. Minced chicken ball. Not to be confused with takoyaki. Not very salty at all. It's almost sweet. Yeah. Good though, huh? Okay. And the next one, this is called negima. Which is onion. And it looks like breast meat on there. Okay. So you eat these together. Nice char on the onion. Simple. I think yeah. the chicken's not, you can really taste the chicken good. Sometimes it's too salty and this is just, right, it's pretty mellow. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, this is chicken skin. How do you feel about chicken skin? I don't like it. It's kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it's really, really good. Sometimes it's like, meh. Right? You, you never really know. Right? You've had good chicken skin though, right? Like the crispy kind? Yeah. That's okay. the best ones. All right. Let's see what this is. The chewy kind. I like the flavor though. The salt really comes out in this one. What do you think? I agree, yeah. And it's juicy. Yeah, right? Not too bad. And this one, I believe this is the the harder neck. I, I hope it's not liver. Yeah, I don't think it's liver because this is the really tough one. I don't think, I hope it's not liver. Liver's the one that I just can't stand. All right, ready on. <laughs> it's hard to pull out. It's, yeah, it's the neck, I believe. Mm hmm. Mm. I like the texture and the taste of this one. Right, there's a toughness, but it's good. It's good. And the salt, again, the salt comes through. All right. Nice texture. Uh, in Japan, they use unlike all parts of the chicken, just about, don't they? We recently did a video about raw chicken as well, too. And we were just amazed by all the different cuts that you can eat raw without getting sick. I mean, like, legit. It was good, right? Surprisingly, so it was good. really yeah. good. I guess we are going to move right to the tare yeah. so we can kind of compare them. Okay. Same order. All right. Here we go. Okay, so this is round two with the sauce, and we'll compare the sauce to the uh, salt. Oh. Mm. oh. More flavor. Yeah. It comes alive with the sauce. Yeah? Because I believe it's the same chicken ball, right? It's the same minced chicken ball. It's more yeah. tasty. Yeah. The sauce. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And the negima. Negima is with the, I believe it's chicken breast and the onion. And it's kind of a sweet onion, would you say? It's sweet, yeah. Huh? Mm hmm. Yep, I like that. 
And then we've got the chicken skin. I know this is going to be better. Tade style. I just, I just know it is. Yeah. Because I, I want some flavor with it. Flavor can cover up texture. <laughs> Dewy though. I like the crispiness. Yeah. It's you know. too chewy. Yeah. The best chicken skin is, it's got some crunch to it. Do you guys agree? If you've had chicken skin? Yeah. Okay, last one. The neck again. <laughs> I don't know. There's sauce on the stick where you hold it as well too. It's really hard to get the chicken off the stick yeah. for that part. Oh. Uh, I don't I don't like this one as much with the the um that's liver. There's a different one. Yeah. They switched it. This is it's not different. the neck, that's liver. Oh. <laughs> oh. We got snookered. <laughs> that's liver. <laughs> I was thinking it was gonna be that because they look the same. Yeah. But that being said, here, let's get this polish it off with the, the taco high here. So you're not a fan of liver either, are you? I guess. I didn't No. I didn't notice the look on his face, did you guys? That was the worst. Uh, ugh. Yeah. I mean occasionally liver is actually pretty good. Occasionally, maybe twenty percent of the time maybe. Liver will actually be like, hey, this is all right. So, the more often you eat something, I believe the easier it is to to acquire a taste for it. Don't you agree? No. No. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I can tell just, I mean, we've been doing these videos for a couple of years together, and he can eat a lot more varieties of food than he used to, for sure. Okay, next up, you choose. Not this, we'll save this yakitori for later, because that's a bento. That's, this is Thai style, right? Yeah, it's called Kao Mangai. Kao Mangai. And this one comes with the sauce, right? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like chicken breast because it's really light colored. This is a bento fit for two people. Comes over a bed of rice. Kao Mangai. I don't know if I've ever had Kao Mangai before. I don't remember the name. Okay, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> The sauce is boss. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Tangy and spicy. That's chicken breast. Nice and tender. Soft, right? It's soft. What do you think of the sauce? Is it boss? The sauce is boss. Okay. There you have it. Yeah. All the flavors in Thai food are just amazing. Very different than Japan. Mm hmm And the chicken, it's a juicy chicken brush. Yeah. It's very juicy. Even without the sauce. Yeah. And it goes good with the rice. Moving on to the, tell them what this is called. It's the karaage. Karaage. Boneless fried chicken, basically. And there's two types in here, it looks like, right? There's a dark and a light. Yeah. Okay. So get one of each. I got a lot of Thai cow mangai sauce in my <laughs> mouth right now. It's pretty strong. Isn't it? Okay. Light or dark? Where do you want to start here? The light one. The light one. Okay. We got any more of that cow manga sauce? <laughs> this is so dry. Oh my gosh. Didn't it come with another packet? There's a little bit. Oh my gosh. Put some of that on it. <clears throat> yeah, you too? I need it. Right? Okay. Does that, does that bring it to life?
Kind of. <clears throat> I'm kind of afraid now to try the dark one. I mean, it's dark meat, right? It's going to be thigh. It's got to be, it can't be dry, right? Is thigh meat ever dry? We'll let you know. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Am I going too fast? He's still chewing over there. Oh. I'm totally different. Mmm. Mmm. Perfection. Super, super juicy, right? Yeah. Oily. Oh, it's good. Mmm. Oh, thigh meat. Oh! Yummy, yum, yum. No sauce necessary. So juicy. Yeah, Japanese karaage. I mean, it's available everywhere, and it's so nice because it's like it's bite sized, it's boneless. You got to give it a try. Wherever you go, it's different. Okay, and the last one, we saved this for last just because it's odd, it's different. And they're calling this a yakitori bento. The yakitori, the chicken, has been pulled off the stick, served over a bed of rice. It's got some shishito peppers. And then, what do you think this is on top of the rice? Maybe it's minced meat? Okay, some kind of minced meat. It looks nutty. Yeah, let's do the uh, the peppers first. Do you like shishito? If you do, take the big one. No. Okay. I love shishito peppers. <clears throat> it looks like a bell pepper, but it's got a little bit of bite to it. Just a little bit of bite, right? It's not spicy bite, right? There's a bitterness. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be with the tare again. Start with the meatball. Followed up by the rice. Oh, meatball's good. <clears throat> That's with the tare again. And there's some uh, there's some nori seaweed flakes on here. Some dried nori. What is the topping on the rice? That is the question. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> it's not nutty. Probably chicken. Yeah. Okay, here's some more of the negima with the onion. Mm hmm. This is a good bento. It works together. It's nice because it's it doesn't have the stick on it. It's easier to eat. Yeah. Way easier. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Yeah. Which bento do you like better? Do you like the Thai style one? Or the Japanese style one? I like the Japanese style <clears throat> one. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, something about yakitori. And there's three varieties of chicken here, whereas the cow mangai just has one, but uh, this is banging. I love this sauce on here. Ooh! Well, the sauce is lit. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We've got three desserts from vending machines as well. <laughs> when I got these three desserts, I thought the theme today will be chocolate. Okay, so basically there are three different desserts or snacks with chocolate in them. But as we've learned in the past, I think it's best to go with least sweet to most sweet. The brownie's probably the most sweet. The Danish, because it's with bread. Maybe in the middle, depends how much chocolate's inside it. And then the pequila, this is like a soft kind of monaco. Yeah. That's probably in the middle. What do you think? Least. The bread first? The bread first, okay. I think he's right, ladies and gentlemen. So this, basically this Danish has got a chocolate bar inside it, I think. Yeah, it's, it's like a chocolate bar inside of a Danish. That's what's going on here. Okay. Here we go.
I like the bread. It's very moist. He likes the bread, ladies and gentlemen. I like the chocolate. Like a bitter chocolate. Hmm. Okay. I thought it would be sweeter, actually. Okay. Yeah, that it's was not this sweet. Let's cleanse the palate here for a second. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Taco High is kind of growing on me. I like this. It's nice. Right, it's like a dry, it's a dry cocktail. Just a little bit of sweetness, not, right? Not, not too much. Too sweet at all. Yeah. Okay, paquila is next. I like to call this tequila, but this is, we're not, if we were drinking tequila with it, that would make sense, right? <clears throat> yeah. So we'll call it Taco High Paquila. It would be kind of fun to have a shot of tequila. Tequila paquila. Okay, so it's a package inside of, you got a lot of packaging in Japan. The boxes of candy always come with a package inside. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. You know it's gonna be fresh. That's what they look like. All right. Go for it. We've had these before, right? Yeah. But I kind of forget what they taste like. Oh. This is more about the chocolate. I mean, there's more volume of chocolate. Yeah. Right? And there's nuts inside. Is there nuts in the yeah. chocolate? Maybe al almonds. Okay. And it kind of tastes like an ice cream bar on the outside, right? Yeah. Or ice cream cone. It's nice. Nice it's touch. good. The chocolate's quality. And these are bargain price, right? They're whether these are like a buck a piece. They're not expensive. So definitely worth trying. And you'll find them. I think I got these on a uh, yes, train station, train platform. Okay, so the question is, did we save the best for last? The chocolate brownie. Chocolate brownie. From a vending machine. This one's got some nice weight to it. So the thing with brownies is it's... It's a mix between a cake and a chocolate bar, right? Yeah. And a lot of times it's more cake flavored than it is chocolate flavored, or it's more chocolatey than it is cake. So, you never know. Ready? Mmm. Oh, this is rich. Rich chocolate. And the layers are kind of mixed together a little bit, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Creamy. And it's the sweetest. really good. And the sweetest. What? Right? Yeah. And it's, it's very, the chocolate melts on your fingertips. <laughs> okay. So I think that was a pretty good one. Yeah. Not too bad. For a, it's basically, it was a bento shop in Yokohama that had the chicken. And then I picked up these on the way home. So where are you going to go today, Mega? You're the guest of honor, as always. <laughs> one to six on the uh, Mega head scale for you. One to six on the Eric heads for me. What do you think? Overall rating. I'm gonna go four. Four out of six. I'm thinking he didn't like the liver very much. The surprise liver. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> One little tiny bite. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> One little tiny bite. It was the surprise factor. We were thinking it was gonna be the neck. Yeah. What about the taco salad? That was amazing, right? Yeah. And these desserts, right? The snack vending machines. We don't. I don't buy these that often, so it's kind of nice to have the snacks. And there's good value in Japan right now, right? The the dollar goes a long ways in Japan right now because the yen is really cheap. So I also put the prices in dollars so that you guys can kind of see 
what the values are of stuff. So whenever you see the video, it's it's current as of like today's price. So my rating is going to be, I'll go five out of six. I've had better chicken, but that's pretty good. I mean, for coming from a vending machine, yeah. pretty that's decent. Pretty I would definitely get it again. You can't beat the convenience. It's a 24 hour machine. So as long as uh, it hasn't been sold out, then uh, you're good to go. So we want to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we shall see you in the next mealtime. Eric and Mega, out.